is of linear linear variable differential transformer how it is going to be what is the operation is going for when an externally applied force when an externally applied force moves in the core moves the core to the left hand position left hand position or else right hand position the core here the in this example observe here here a core is connected here then more magnetic flux links in the left hand coil when left hand position is there of a core then a magnetic field uh, flux what is going to be induced at the left side it will be more than at the right side that's what here the uh, information is given then the emf induced in the left hand coil that is es1 is therefore larger than the induced emf in the right hand coil that is es2 then the magnitude of the output voltage is then the magnitude of the output voltage is then equal to the difference between the two secondary voltages and its and it is in phase with the voltage of the left hand coil here for the metallic part a bonding is done that is taken as e out here it is of e in the phase what is going to be the core is going to be moved it's going to be inside and outside taking in and taking out here in terms of circuitry level here it is taken as this is an ac input a primary coil is connected here the secondary coil s1 and s2 is there and a core is there this is of a core arm this is the displacement i can move towards when it is going to be this side means it is of right uh, right hand side and it is taken this side means it's of uh, displacement is going to be done towards your left side then about this is the graph where we drawn the signal across core position towards the output voltage here the position a is there you will be getting at a linear graph at either here it is of a and here it is of b then the construction over here it is going to be core at a when it is at a it is towards the left position when at the null position it will be at the middle position exactly when core is towards the your right hand then you will be getting as b what is in this type this type of recorder is mostly is going to be used to measure measure and record the quantities such as pressure flow level and angle of the rotation some of the information i can go with it then this instrument is also based on the principle of null balance then the lvdt consists of two permanent magnets parallel to each other if a small permanent magnet is placed in between of these two it will move linearly in the direction depends on the north south pole of the permanent magnet then the primary winding of lvdt is excited by ac voltage what the input you are going to provide then voltage providing the magnetic flux what is our ac operating due to that voltage a magnetic flux is going to be introduced in the transformer then this flux links with the both secondary windings inducing emf in them then when a small permanent magnet or ferrite magnet or ferrite we are going to core is located centrally the voltage induced in both secondaries the voltage voltage induced in both secondaries is equal both the secondaries are equal when the core is displaced by the input quantity to be measured the null condition gets disturbed when it is the core is moving towards and reverse within the here the what you, how the construction is going to be whether you are going to move towards or forward to and fro if you uh, the making the connection of uh, displacement of the core if you are doing based on that it is going to be telling the balanced condition is going to be disturbed when you are going to displacing with the core movement then the emf 
induced in one secondary winding will be more than EMF induced in the other winding. Yes, of course, we learned of we come across this. Why? Why? When the core is towards this means here the magnetic flux will be more. Here the core will not is not going to induce any EMF, right? For that reason, it, it will be there, but when compared to the other, it will be less. EMF will be more induced in the other winding. This reluctance difference in the voltage is going to be amplified, which drives the motor. The difference what it is going to be occurring in the transformer. That what is the difference? The uh, magnetic flux what is going to be inducing the um, that uh, voltage is going magnetic flux is going to be amplified. From that amplifier, we will drive the motors. That is the further section we are going for. Then the output of the motor is fed to the pointer. Then and pen mechanism through the mechanical linking. Then the pen thus moves across the calibrated paper in terms of a variation in the measured quantity giving the graphical representation. This graphical representation we can get based on the construction of pen movement okay what is the difference how much the motor is going to be rotating based on that i can record my information then about this is what the lvdt here the meter is connected the needle is going to deflect here the core and this is your winding what it is going to be done the core is going to be moving towards our flow to and flow uh, we can do of that then this is what the construction the primary excitation what we are going to view the when secondary output when the core is towards the secondary winding of one one will be getting the output as like this signal and at the second you will be getting the reverse of the first then when I add these two, we'll be getting the null, balanced. Okay, that's what the meaning.